Hey everyone, this is Marley here with Duke Schnauzers in Middle Tennessee and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If this is your first time here with me, welcome. I am so happy to have you here. If you love miniature schnauzers, puppies, learning about dogs, how to take care of them, puppy spam, videos, photos, all that good stuff, schnauzers, I definitely suggest that you hit that subscribe button because I will be uploading content just for you every week. So today I want to talk to you guys about something that I thought was super important and I've had a ton of questions about this um, over my time of breeding and it is how to protect your dog from parvo and also socializing your dog. So socializing puppies is one of my absolute most favorite things because I am a puppy culture nerd. If you have not listened to one of my videos about puppy culture, I definitely suggest you go back and you listen to one of those. I get into way detail about it. I'm not gonna get into a ton of detail about that program right now, but what I can tell you is that just like humans, puppies have developmental phases that they go through, starting with the neonatal, going to transitional, then hitting socialization, and there they go. And that socialization um, period in their life ends at 12 weeks. So you might be thinking, what is the connection here between parvovirus and socializing my puppy? I'm gonna tell you. So when puppy buyers take their puppy home, from me, they will get a packet on, um, you know, all the stuff that their puppy has gotten with me, including vaccines, and they'll also get information on parvovirus, okay? So if you are unfamiliar with parvovirus, what parvovirus is, is it's a virus. It is a really, really nasty virus, and um, puppies are extremely susceptible to it. Symptoms of it are lethargy, vomiting, diarrhea, bloody diarrhea, and if your dog hits the bloody diarrhea stage, your puppy's really, really sick. It's um, really high in causing um, death in puppies. It's something that unless you are getting getting that dog seen right away um, and the dog is admitted to the ER and it's getting fluids and anti-nausea meds and all these, all these things, then you have a very high chance of losing your puppy. And of course, that is devastating. Nobody wants that to happen. So previously what I was doing for my buyers when they would ask me, simple question of with potty training, am I okay to let the puppy go outside? Um, previously in about the last year, there's been a resurgence of, we didn't know what it was at first. I didn't experience it personally, but there was a uh, resurgence of a virus that these older dogs were getting and it turned out to be Parvo. Now here's the kicker. These were vaccinated dogs. I don't know if these dogs were vaccinated every year or if they were vaccinated every three year. The older dogs get, they can go um, every three years potentially, but it really kind of just depends on like lifestyle of the dog. Um, and I don't know all that, but what I do know is that a lot of dogs were dying. So because of that, I was recommending to my buyers that they actually potty train with whelping, not whelping pads, sorry, with potty pads by the door and to try to limit the puppy's exposure. Cement's totally fine, but kind of just be cautious in the grass. So, um, but now kind of things have settled down a little bit and I just kind of wanted to express some safe ways that I think that puppy buyers, puppy parents can safely socialize their dogs while protecting them against parvo, okay? Now parvo, in case you don't know, is spread to puppies through the fecal oral route. And no, that doesn't mean that your puppy has to go and lick up another animal's fecal material. It's just something as simple as your dog walks someplace at a dog park and they get home and they start chewing on their paws and there was some fecal material with um, that is contaminated with parvovirus the, um, in that, you know, on their paws and it has now gone into their mouth. So they are now gonna probably get sick from that unless they are fully immunized um, or mostly immunized. Um, and like I said, really bad. You don't want to deal with that. You don't want to have to have your dog go through that. And you definitely don't want to pay the vet bills associated with that. So that will happen. Your puppy will have a small incubation period where they're getting sick, but they're not yet showing symptoms. So when it comes to the backyard, okay, so I just kind of want to first, let's first start here. So when you get your puppy home, um, I no longer recommend that you need to, or puppy buyers need to use pee pads only or just a cement area. Um, if you feel like your backyard is pretty safe, um, and that there's been no stray dogs running through it, right? And you didn't have a recently sick dog in that area, probably okay to let your dog go out and play in the grass. Um, playing outside in the backyard is going to provide lots of opportunity for your puppy to 
run around, work on their strength. They're going to see different things. They're going to feel different things. They're going to hear different things. So you're going to, it's going to all be really good for your puppy's growing brain. Um, also, what I recommend is that to not wait on puppy classes until your puppy is fully vaccinated between 14 and 16 weeks. Just kind of undertone here. Always talk about um, attending any puppy classes or anything with your veterinarian before you sign up, but you will find lots of classes are receptive to puppies who are younger than 14 to 16 weeks because they understand that that socialization period ends right at that 12 week mark, pretty much sometimes there's exceptions. 12 weeks. So it is not recommended to wait until your dog is fully vaccinated for you to begin socializing them because you could have missed this critical window. And this window is so important because if you move past that, all you really can do is just desensitize your dog to different experiences and things. You can't truly socialize them. And I think every pet buyer, especially, you know, people who um, have these great plans for their dog, you know, want to take their dog everywhere. It's really important for that animal to be socialized. So um, don't delay with that. I would recommend looking into places that they may have a wait list and just, you know, use your best judgment um, about where your puppy goes. And don't be afraid to ask questions about, you know, asking them how they disinfect the facility, how often they do it. In order for um, parvovirus to be completely killed on surfaces, it, uh, a combination uh, water and bleach can be used, or there's also special cleaners that veterinarians will use, um, and you know, groomers and whatnot. So there's stuff out there that that can help to kill the virus. It's a little more challenging to kill the virus outside. I would not recommend any classes in dog parks. Um, don't do that. Please don't do that. Um, and you know, take your dog with you, your puppy with you as you you know, see fit. Um, I would not suggest letting your puppy walk around PetSmart um, or Petco or any type of large, big, you know, dog store that has a vet in the back, just because if you have a sick dog that's going to one of these large pet stores, they could, you know, potentially, not saying always, potentially be walking where a dog who's sick was walking. And then again, you have, you run the risk of that dog getting sick. Um, that's just me. That's my recommendation. Um, something else you can do for your dog is they have really great little front pack carriers that you can have for your dog. Um, those are good because your dog can still see things. People can touch them. Uh, again, as long as you're not not putting your dog where another sick dog was, um, it's probably going to be fine taking your dog to a friend's house and they have another dog for them to meet. As long as you know that dog is vaccinated and then again, nobody there has been sick, you're probably going to be okay. Also, just on a side note, um, most all puppies, they should have at least one vaccine against parvovirus before leaving the breeder. Any puppy purchased from me will have two. I do one right at five weeks. Um, sorry, six weeks, and then at eight weeks. So right when the immunity from mama's milk is wearing off, that's when I wanna inoculate those puppies. And also do keep in mind, guys, it takes between 10 to 14 days for any vaccine to be, um, to be completely, to working effective that's the word so that's why you may hear a lot of stories about a puppy who you know just came from a breeder and then all of a sudden they got sick um that's because perhaps they got their vaccine two days before they left you know to go to their home and then their owner took them around places and we didn't allow enough time for the vaccine to actually like to work on the puppy. So those are my suggestions. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I will comment back and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.